Hey guys, Takara here and welcome back to my channel. We are now on episode 3 of season 7 of Supernatural. Last episode we left it in a bit of a mess really wasn't it? We don't know where Bobby is, Kaz exploded, Sam struggling in the back of an ambulance, still seeing visions of Lucifer and Dean just praying to God that they take him, well not to God because obviously that's Kaz right now, but praying that he will be sent any other place other than the hospital where the ambulance is taking them because I'm pretty sure that's where the Leviathans are. Let's get straight into it. Hopefully we can sort this mess out. Where am I? You're at the hospital. <laughs> Which one? Sioux Falls General. Okay, I gotta go. You're not going anywhere on this leg, buddy. Oh, scary times. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bobby's fine. He's right there. You okay? Why are you on the floor? He doesn't know that his house has been burnt there. Hey, give me more feed. What? Are we gonna get a butt shot? The house, we thought you were dead. One can only hope. What? It's crazy that all these supernatural beings know about the Winchesters, and yet none of them can defeat them, considering they there, are Who's this? humans. Go, 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 go! I do prefer these titles. They're like shapeshifters, only a lot more into eating folk. Nothing can kill them. Good time. Sam. Hey, ground control. Sam. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Why do they do that, these boys? Clearly not fine. Good. Hey, uh, two legs. We're fresh out of grub. You want to make a run? Good old two legs. Be careful, I guess Woody, it's would better you? than this. Sam. A giraffe. We're gonna have to call you back. That's this now. The Winchesters have triggered one of my search programs. Great. I shot in Montana. About a day and a half, maybe two days from here. Where's the pie? And a cake. Close enough, right? No, it's not. I'm with Dean on this one. It is not close enough. He isn't the ice pick killer, is he? Yeah, so from what I can tell, it's something called Wait, what? Kitsune. Not much, they look human. So they spread out claws and stab you behind you to get your brain. I missed the year that that sat down. What is this? What are you doing? Okay. Back in a few days, I'm fine. He says he's okay. So give it a couple of days. It probably seems quite calm about all of this, doesn't he? I worked a case like this a few years back. Think it's related? Do you have yesterday's paper? Yeah, right there. So this ice pit killer was when Sam was very young. I want to slow down. I just wanted to, you know, say hi. No, go away. It's just I'm not supposed to talk to boys. Oh, is he gonna, is she gonna, are you gonna help her with these two douches? Uh-uh. Why so rude? Go on, Sam, lad. Hi. I'm Sam. I'm Amy. This is gonna be her. What are you doing here? I think you know. So she feeds some brains. So you live around here? You spiked. Three guys. This week. Tell me what's going on. Don't move. What the hell is this gonna be? She feeding her kids? Yeah. So she's doing this so that her kids survive. You're still feeding. On the dead. Sam, after what I did for you. Ooh, interesting. Who got up? A couple of pros and a piece of crap, Impala. Oh, no way. Then run. If my mom finds you, she'll kill you. Just run. Sam! So does she end up Sam. killing her own mother to, to save him? She'll get back up, yeah. We gotta drop her, no matter how many merit badges she racked up when she was a kid. There he goes with his black and white again. Nothing in our lives is simple. But I'm sure if it was Lisa doing that, it'd be different. Look, I might be a freak, but that's not the same as dangerous. You know, it makes a good point, because Sam killed a load of people. Oh, dear. My son. I know. But people, they are who they are. 
You are what you are. What's he doing now? I don't Who like will it. Kill again. It always does. What? Just sorry. What about a kid like? Well, aren't you the big man, Dean? You ever kill anyone? Well, if you do, I'll come back for you. The only person I'm gonna kill is you. That's messed up. That is seriously messed up. Not you, Siri. Come on now. Sam Winchester was definitely here. And I'll find out where they went from here. He's gonna pour oh. that steamy hot cheese out oh. of him. So, I have very mixed feelings about that. I'm angry at Dean. I'm very angry at Dean. I think that if someone was to go after Sam, the way that he's just gonna after that Kitsune, he would make it his life mission to destroy them. Maybe that's why he let the boy go and didn't kill the boy, because the boy didn't actually do the crime. Mm. I don't know. Well, after saying to Sam that that's okay and agreeing that Sam had it under control and this, this Amy Pond was a good girl, woman, and trying to live life as innocently as she could, to then just go behind his back anyway, stab her to death after some speech, and then allow a kid to see it, and then just leave the kid to see the mother stabbed to death on the bed. It's just so dark. And I didn't think that Dean would have done that. I am disappointed a little bit. Obviously, I know where he's coming from. She did a bad thing. She killed a human to save her son. But the fact that she was someone that was working on... I mean, she was just born this way. She didn't choose to be this. She was born that way. So then she was trying to change her life to lead a, a more innocent one and a, a more pure one. Yeah, very conflicted because she did a bad thing. I get that. But Dean lying to Sam and then going behind his back and then the whole thing with the kid I just think was really shady. I just didn't, it didn't sit well with me. So Sam is still seeing these hallucinations. He's fine though, totally fine. He's dealing with it. But I think the takeaway here was that Sam is this freak who goes against the normal life. He sees visions of the devil. He's been trapped in a cage. He's grew up all of his life being a hunter killing supernatural beings for a living, that isn't normal. So yeah, I just, <laughs> I thought Dean would have understood a little bit better than what he did, I guess. Bobby seems very laid back about Sam as well. And I feel like there's more to that. I could just be reading into it, but I just feel like there's more. The Leviathans are still on the hunt. Now for the Winchesters as well, but killing as they go along as we just saw there with the store clerk. I still don't know what the Leviathan's point is, like what what their aim is, their end goal. Obviously they're in the public now after going in the water supply, but are they just, is this just the way that they live? They just want to snack and be evil? Or is there a purpose to them? Are they building an army? Are they wanting to take over this world? Are they you know what why why are they here that is my question and can they be put back into purgatory another big question and where is crowley after all of this what is crowley up to kaz was nowhere to be seen so i'm guessing they are going down the route that that was the end of kaz and i'm fully aware that he i want to say exploded in the river but whether he did or not i don't know my mind instantly shut down and went into denial mode and I just thought, there's no way that he could have gone out that way. There's just, there's just no way. It was similarly to Crowley when Crowley's bones were burned. I just thought, he's not gonna go out like that. And I feel like that way about Kaz. So if he truly is gone from that, I'm gonna be so pissed that that's the way he went because I just wasn't satisfied with it. I just don't think it, it was the way. I did wonder if they would change the actor Surely not, right? I wouldn't be happy with that. No spoilers anyway, I do not want to know. I'm just talking out loud and trying to process things. But to me, if that is the way that he goes, I'm gonna be pissed. Time will tell. In regards to that episode though, I thought it was good. 
I enjoyed the flashback scenes. I always enjoy flashback scenes, especially when it comes to the show because the actor that plays Sam does such a good job. And I like seeing more about what they've been through and it just puts everything into perspective a bit more when you see younger versions of them and what they went through. I'm still awaiting some really gritty plot and progression. They're sort of just dipping their toe into each pool, like Sam with his hallucinations and the leviathans and what they're up to and Dean's, well this has opened up a little bit of kind of worms if, if Sam finds out about what Dean's just done. It's not good. If he remains oblivious then it probably will be for the better because I don't think Sam would appreciate that whatsoever. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, give it a cheeky thumbs up and subscribe, you know, if you want to, but there's no pressure here. I would like to give a very special shout out to Raven Steel this week. Thank you for the constant support that you've been giving me on my Patreon and commenting every single week on my videos. You're probably one of the first to comment each week and I enjoy reading your comments. I love the energy that you bring and the excitement and things about me uploading my new content. I'm just so glad that you're enjoying them and I really do hope that you continue to do so for the rest of season seven and however many seasons we get through of this show. Your emoji game is on point. I do love that. <laughs> so thank you very much to Ravensteel. If you would like to watch any of my other content, please feel free to do so. I have plenty of videos on my YouTube and plenty on Patreon. If you would like to check out my Patreon, that would be amazing. I only charge $1 a month and you can get all of my content on there. And I also have a PO box if you would like to send me anything, feel free. And I hope to see you all again soon for another video. Thanks for watching guys, bye.